This is the first time I build a PC by myself. Question is, does it even turn on? Here comes the moment. Bruh. What? No. Oh, wait. This better work. I'm about to go ham. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jacob Gago here. I'm excited to show you guys my new 2023 PC build. Believe it or not, in less than a year, my $5,000 MacBook Pro crashed. And then a month before that, my PC also crashed. Luckily, I had Apple Care and I had six more months left for my CPU manufacturer's warranty. And lastly, I did want to start playing Flight Simulator, so I did want something a lot more stronger. All the computer components that I mentioned today will be in the description, so please use those links so you support the channel. The motherboard is the Asus Z790 ROG Maximus. The CPU was the Intel Core i9-13900K. The GPU was Gigabyte Aero 4080. Storage is Samsung 980 Pro SSD 2TB. RAM was the Corsair Dominator Platinum DDR5. Power supply is the Corsair 1000X. The case is the NZXT H9 Elite. Case mount is the Cooler Master vertical mount. For cooling, I use the NZXT Kraken Z73. For the fans, I use the Lian Lee SL120 version 2s. And for some extra lighting, I use the Lian Lee Li Streamer Plus V2. Starting with the motherboard and CPU, I actually had a AMD motherboard because I was gonna install the 7900X chip, but I remembered the bad experience I had, so I decided to go Intel. I picked the Z790 because of the Thunderbolt, and I had a crazy deal on this. This motherboard usually goes for $680. It was open box for about $500, and on top of that, Micro Center was offering an additional 65% off on the day I went. So I only paid $213.81 with tax. Of course, with the savings, I added a three-year warranty for $39.99. So my total was $253.80. And then the Intel CPU 13900K cost me $602.30. The three-year warranty cost $119.99. So my total was 722 and 29 cents. Next up, I installed the SSD and I went with the Samsung 980 Pro. I got this for $140 and six cents. The next thing I installed on the motherboard is the RAM. Right here, I'm actually installing the Corsair Vengeance, but I did end up switching this to the Dominator. The total cost of the RAM was $186 and 14 cents. For the case, I initially went with the H9 Flow versus the H9 H9 Elite. The main difference between the two is the Elite has a glass top. The Flow is really the better way to go, hence the name H9 Flow, but I really didn't care so much of that. I love the glass aesthetic on the top. So at the time of building this, I actually built it in the H9 Flow, but I ended up switching everything a little over a week later when the Elite finally arrived. The total I paid for the case was $262.79. Next, I installed all the fans all around. Now in this case, it allows you to have up to 13 fans and I actually utilized all of that. So I have three on the bottom, three on the right, six fans on top and a single one on the left side. The total cost of all the fans is $300.54. Next, I installed the AIO, which is gonna be in charge of cooling the CPU. And what's nice about this, it also has a screen and it allows you to essentially put whatever you want on it. And it will show you some useful information like how hot your CPU is or your GPU. The total cost of the AIO was $328.49. Next up is the GPU. I initially wanted the Asus ROG Strix 4080, but the price is way too high. So I went to Micro Center to see if they had actually a different GPU. The rep actually told me they had an open box of the Gigabyte Aero 4080. When he brought it out, he put my name on it while I shopped for other things. When I was finally ready to check out, they said, oh, they mistakenly sold it to another Jacob. Obviously 
obviously I was very upset about this. The manager heard about this and he was very nice enough to say, hey, you know what? We're gonna give you a new one for the same price of the open box. Yes, you heard that right. So that means something that was 1300, I got it for 900. Who cares about an Asus Rock Strix? I had to buy this. Of course, with the savings, I added a warranty of $179.99. So my total was $1,149.71. At first, I kept the GPU horizontally, but I kind of liked it more vertically. So I did get the Cooler Master vertical mount which cost me $87.59. Next is the fun part, power supply and making all the necessary connections. It can get a little confusing. So for easy cable management, I also made sure to label each wire. So if anything were to go wrong in the future, it will be easier to navigate the wire. The total I paid for the power supply was $206.92. I also installed the Lian Lee strimmers, which are also part of the power supply for the CPU and GPU and the total for both of the streamers was $129.28. Once I did all that, I did basically the boring part which is download Windows on another computer, make the necessary changes in my BIOS for Optima speed, download all the drivers and so forth. In conclusion, so far the computer has been great. I am super happy about this build but there are a few things that I do want to change. I am looking to change my AIO from the Kraken Z73 to the Kraken Elite. I'm buying more RAM with the 32 gigabytes I'm using right now. I have 50 to 80% utilization. So 64 should help with that. I'm also looking to add two terabytes of SSD. I'm looking to also change the top stock fans that came with the H9 Elite to the new Lian Lee fans that are coming out whenever that is. The cool thing about the new Lian Lee fans in the middle of the fan would have screens which you could customize and I think that would fit perfectly for the glass top. So the total for this build should have been $4,300 but with savings and taxes included and warranties I only had to pay $3,767.61. Of course this amount is way more than my $2,500 budget but I do plan to sell my prior build for around $850 so that means the cost would come down to a total of $2,917.61. Still over budget, but that's okay since I know I can make money back on this computer. Plus, flight simulator on this PC is flawless. I literally get over 150 FPS. In my prior build, I literally only got 20. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you catch the next video when I make some new changes to this case. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.